Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our Holy Thursday drama that Northwest has put on for you. I just wanted to give you a quick disclaimer that uh, everybody that you see in the video without masks has been vaccinated. Um, and we adhered to all COVID protocols that our church is following in the filming of this drama. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. When the time of Passover came, Jesus and his disciples made preparations for the Passover meal in an upper room. Jesus took his place at the table and the apostles with him. I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will never again eat this until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until the day that we drink it new in the kingdom of my Father. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit. Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to her to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. Lord, who is it? It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the cup. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Do quickly what you are going to do. He immediately went out and it was night. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. You will all become deserters because of me this night. But after I'm raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Even if everyone else does, I will never desert you. Truly, I tell you, this very night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Even though I must die with you, I will never deny you. And all the disciples said the same thing. After supper, Jesus went out with his disciples across the Kidron Valley to the Mount of Olives, where there was a garden, which he and his disciples entered. When he reached the place, he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down, and prayed. Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. 
Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. When he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. Why are you sleeping? Get up! The hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. While he was still speaking, suddenly a crowd came, and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. Judas, is it with a kiss you betray the Son of Man? Then Jesus, knowing all that was to happen to him, came forward. Whom are you looking for? Jesus of Nazareth. I am. Whom are you looking for? J J Jesus of Nazareth. I told you that I am. So if you're looking for me, let my people go. <laughs> Peter, put your sword back in its sheath. Am I not to drink the cup that the Father has given me? He touched Malchus's ear and healed him. Is it with chain and sword that you come for me? When I was with you day after day in the temple, you did not lay hands on me. But now it is your hour and the power of darkness. So they seized him and led him away. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled.